how do I get clients is the number one question I get all the time. And my instant reply is, what are you doing for your brand? And nine times out of 10, I get told nothing or very little, or why do I need to worry about my brand? Because I build a website. What I'm referring to is putting yourself out there. You can be the world's best web designer and you might have your portfolio and you've designed your website. It's looking really, you know, slick and slash and everything like that. But if you don't put yourself out there to let people know about what you do and who you are and how you like to operate, no one's going to care. OK, this is the reality of it. And I just want to cover off how you can build your brand with social media posting. I know, I know you've heard this all before. Get your posts out there, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of that. But I want you to focus more on how often you do it. Building your brand is massively important. Because the more people get to see you and associate you with maybe problem solving, SEO, not just building websites, but helping their business to generate revenue and income and grow, that is what's important. You don't just want to say, I'm a web designer. You want to be showing off and telling people about how you're going to help them triple their income. How are you going to help them to get more leads or conversions? What proof or evidence have you got? What can you show off? What client testimonials have you got? And this all goes back to social media because the mistake a lot of people do, and this is what I find out whenever someone goes, oh, how do I get clients? Have you got a website? Yeah. Have you got testimonials and reviews? Yeah, they're on my website. I've got a dedicated page. I've even got Google reviews. Great, great, great. But are you putting it out there on social media? And they always say, no, or I haven't got time. I really want you to, I'm going to get my words wrong here. I was going to say re-educate, but I want you to reforge your brain to start doing this more consistently. And I also want you to have a bit of a strategy about it. And that's what I'm going to very quickly tell you right now. I don't even know why I said I'm going to tell you very quickly because you should know by now that I just talk, 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 talk. Right. Social media. I recommend you use um, a scheduling tool. There's loads out there, but the one I always go back to, uh, the one that I use and I recommend to all of my clients and anyone I talk to is publa.io. You can go and sign up and use this for free, okay? I, uh, at the time of this video, you can get free social media accounts for free, okay? So if you wanted to post on, say, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, you could do it for free. If you wanted to also go to Insta and other places and on top of the ones I've just mentioned, so you might have four or five social media accounts, you've got to pay for it. I'm not going to be posting any links anywhere in the video description, all right, because I want you to go and Google it and have a look yourself. So there's no affiliate commission and there is no sponsorship whatsoever, okay? So the idea is you could use Publa. I mean, I could go in and like early morning when I'm on my treadmill, I might go and do 10 posts. For today. 10 posts sounds like a lot, but I might say 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10, 11, 12, you know, or 8 30, 9, 9 30, whatever. You can space them out throughout the day to cover off different time zones. So you can start to schedule social media posts, but your posts, and this is the important bit, all right? I've just very quickly gone off about the thing about Publa, and you can use it for scheduling. You know, you put one post in, you say go here, here, here go off at 10 o'clock today or 10 o'clock tomorrow, and it automatically goes to those three outlets. You can do animated GIFs, videos, images, just plain text, whatever you want. But the important bit is what you post. The mistake a lot of people make is, I'm a web designer. I can build your website. I can do your e-commerce. Um, and they just made, they might share an image of a website, or sometimes they just share images of themselves. They have an image of themselves stood in someone's garden or, you know, or they're next to their mates with their arm around their mate. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? But the social media posts generally are either nothing really about, really about them or their business, or they're all just salesy, right? I'm a web designer. I can build your website for $20. I can build it for $2,000. I can build it for $2 million. There's all these kind of things, right? They're very sales pitchy. And every time I see the same people cropping up all the time, I get so frustrated and I either block them, unfollow them, or just ignore them. 
the mindset you want to get into is think of it like this. Every 10th post you do could be now linked to a sales or um, it could be, you know, to a course or a product or the fact that you build websites for a certain price. OK, let me break this down for you. Post one to nine. And you could do them all in one day. And I'm going to explain to you why in a moment, why doing it in one or two days is a better strategy. OK, but let's just say, right, you're going to do 10 posts. OK, the first nine should be related to your business, but not just about I do this. This is what I build for you. Um, I can build your website for two hundred dollars, whatever. It shouldn't be just that. It needs to be about the good, the bad and the ugly. Basically what good is happening. Maybe you're doing something. Maybe there's a bit of advice you want to share. Maybe it's something to do with the fonts or color schemes or bento style or elemental or bricks or anything. Maybe it's to do with um, something you've discovered and you're going to try out. Maybe you've got a new monitor, anything good, anything that's happening. And it doesn't always have to be just about the business. It literally could be like, I'm just taking a break from work today because I'm going out with my son to do X, Y, Z. Something that possibly makes someone smile or they resonate with it or they feel um, they like they want to comment on it. Something that just kind of can start a conversation. You also want to share the bad. I was using this plugin. It really doesn't work for me. Um, I don't know if it you know, there might be something that went wrong. I don't know. I started trying to write a, a tweet then, but something that's gone wrong. Maybe uh, a project with a client without naming the client didn't go well. Maybe you learned something that you've always done and now you've realized you should have done it this way instead. Maybe you've changed the way you work. Something again that can resonate that might start a conversation. And when it comes to the ugly, it's okay to share the odd rant. Like something's really frustrated you. Something has happened that's really made you go, I am not going to stand for this. Be very careful that it is not political, right? So not really related to a world event unless that event impacts on your business, right? Or you, okay, I'm, I, if there's something happening in the world that does not directly affect you, don't start posting about it, all right? You've got to be careful because sometimes people don't like to either know about it or they are offended by your view and you could lose your audience and it can affect your brand. Anyway, look. Post, right? Your first nine, your first one to nine. Your 10th post is now about a course you're selling, uh, website costs. Maybe you, you're, you know, uh, something you're doing whereby you're hoping, uh, sorry, I, didn't, I don't mean hoping, where when you post, it's got a direct link to the product, a direct link to the course, a direct link to something where you want them to hopefully go and purchase or get involved in it, okay? subscribe, I don't know, whatever, okay? That's your 10th post, okay? The link is in the post, okay? That's a direct sell post, the 10th one. Now, your first one to nine won't have that. They could have links that take them elsewhere or whatever. However, and here's the trick, when you've posted, don't do it straight away. Wait half an hour or an hour. In the comment, you might then elaborate more on how you can help someone or, or not. And then you put your link in there for a product or a course. Okay. So that it's there, but it's only there if the person has decided to go and click on the comment. So the original post, the first one to nine, they are not salesy. But in the comment you have, if they decide to go there, and you don't have to do it for every single of the one to nine, you pick and choose, right? You pick and choose. You might do it on the second one, the fifth one you know, whatever kind of thing. Yeah, maybe someone's commented and go, well, how do I find out more? Or do you have anything to advise me? Yeah, okay, you, you put the link in. So your first one to nine are not salesy. They're more about the business and what you're doing, right? The good, more of the good and the bad, less of the ugly. And your 10th one is your sales one. Now here comes the problem. Because like I said, some people say, I don't have the time, even though I've just said, go and use Publer and schedule it. I mean, come on, I'm scheduling like 10 a day, right? It, it's like, it doesn't take that long. And I'm going to advise you on something you can do to help yourself out to speed it up. I'll tell you that in a moment. But you've got your 10 posts. If you do one a day, 
right? Now it's not until day 10 we get to the sales one. Maybe you switch it to be 20% sales post. Again, though, you know, eight to eight for eight days, there's nothing that really takes them anywhere. And this is where if you now um, uh, review your scheduling and you go from doing one a day to 10 a day or even five a day, right? Come on, let, I'll, I'll, I'll work with you on this. Let's go for five a day. Five today will be just the good and the bad. Tomorrow, you'll do five more. Four of them will be the good and the bad. But one of them, right, because that's now the 10th post, you know, over two days, that's your pure hardcore sales one. And hopefully people have seen your other stuff. They'll laugh, they'll cry, they'll go, oh, I don't agree with you on that. And then they see the sales one. Because now all of a sudden, you're not just hammering the sales pitch, right? You're showing off other variety and other things about you and your brand and your business, okay? But then you're reminding them, hey, I also build stuff. We also have a course. We have things that might help you out that you might want to get involved in. So that's what you could do. I like to do 10 a day. And if I'm honest, I don't even do my 10th post as a salesy. Sometimes I'll do 10 today, 10 tomorrow, 10 the next day. And maybe, in, maybe out of, uh, say, 40, 50 posts I will have done this week, there might be one, which is a direct one to the course. The rest are to maybe a video I've released. Maybe it's my view on WordPress. Maybe it's my view on um, how we need to think more about how we balance work, life and family. Maybe it's about how you need to use Clamp. Maybe it's about um, some um, brand new Mac mini, which I got last year and how I've connected it up. Maybe it's about my iPhone as a webcam. They don't have to all be about come and buy our course, come and sign us up for a website, come and work with us. They don't have to all be that. And that is how, well, it's not, it's not the only way we did it, but it's helped us to build our brand. It's helped us to reach people. It's helped to get people to reach out to us as well. Because I can tell you now, if all we did was just buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now, eventually people get sick of it and it comes across as desperate. But when you are putting out posts which are not all about getting, you know, our course or our product, people start going, well, they're obviously not desperate and they're all right and I like them. You know what? Yeah, I might want to work with them. You're networking because they get to learn something about you without you even realizing it. Like I'm telling people about, yeah, you know, um, uh, this morning I did 13 kilometers on my treadmill in about one hour, 35 minutes while working. I didn't tell you the ins and outs of it, but now you know that I got up early. I was walking and working, exercising, getting things done. And you might relate to that. Oh, yeah. What, you're on a treadmill? Are you running? You might want to converse with me. Or you might not like it. Well, okay, fine. You don't like it. But social media, putting out posts is an amazing free way for you to build your brand. Now, I'm just going to end off with, well, what do I post? I'm not sure what to say or do. Go and open chat GPT or any other AI tool, right? Go and say, um, Start off with a topic, you know, say, right, give me 10 tweets, okay? The reason I say tweets is because they won't be too long, and it means that you can use them on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. If you say go and write a LinkedIn post, it might be really big, and then you might want to shorten it for Twitter, and you're spending more time. Just go with tweet, okay? Give me 10 tweets about uh, something to do with web design, might be SEO, and ChatGPT is going to go, right, give you 10 things, okay? And then you refine it, you humanize it, okay, a little bit. You get it to be more like in your vocal, you change it. You might make it more about web designers. You might drop in something that connects it back to you. You know, it might be that ChatGPT has said something I and mean, I'll drop in something about Pepsi Max into it because that relates to me and what I like to drink and whatever. This is Soda Stream Pepsi Max, by the way, right? It's easy to do. And I... Uh, recently have started doing quite a lot of uh, 30 second one minute shorts on YouTube and I've put them on TikTok as well. Um, uh, I've tried different ways of doing it, but you'll notice which ones I'm talking about because I'm now wearing like this um, 
uh, microphone, which I'm going to cover off in another video. Super, super cool. Hohem Mic One or Mic One. Um, you'll notice which ones I mean. Anyway, I'm doing them one a day. I'm recording about 10 a week. Okay, so on Friday, they take me about half an hour to record. That's how quick they are. And they don't take long to edit because you don't need to do any fancy editing. You just get rid of the start and the end bit. I've already got the scripts done for 70, well, 70 videos or seven weeks worth. And I'm only releasing one a day. So when you work it out, 70, what's that? Two and a bit months, right? So every week you record them. I have my scripts written and then I just record them off. So you can easily do the prep work with a bit of AI or whatever for some of your posts. But then it shouldn't be difficult for you to share off a testimonial. Someone has said something amazing about you or they like what you did or you helped someone out. You have probably, I don't use Fiverr at work, but a lot of you probably do. And you've done something on Fiverr and the client is happy and they said thank you and they've done a review. You take that review. You don't have to say it was on Fiverr. You take the review. You create a post in Canva, whatever, and you share it. You don't share it every day because then people will go, oh, you're just sharing the same thing. But you share the good. So whenever someone says to me, oh, how do I get clients? The number one thing they are not doing is utilizing social media. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I hope this resonated with you. Take care. See you soon. Bye.